All right, the first round, Gil, the nasty weather starting to roll Pretty out, Pretty much right? rolling out, yeah. But an, another one going to be on the way for the weekend. That said, marinas along the shoreline keeping their eyes on the forecast, getting ready just in case Joaquin heads to Connecticut. News H Jackie Slater has our story. Ed Viani and his crew are bracing for a busy few days. A lot of the people want their boats taken out, and we do. We have three travelers there. We can get an awful lot of boats out in a day. If we had to, we could do 20, 25 in a day. Some will come out. Others will be moved. The plan today, pick up this boat from Pine Orchard Yacht Club and bring it to Bruce and Johnson's marina to ride out the storm. We have a very safe harbor, Bruce and Johnson's. They call us, you know, can we bring the boat over? Can you pick it up? And, and we do it. This time, the sea is calling the shots. Viani rules it's too dangerous to move the boat. We're going to err on the side of caution. I don't want to put the boat, particularly my guys, in jeopardy. Joaquin is now a hurricane, and its path is uncertain. But now, they say, is the time to get ready. So what if Joaquin does impact Connecticut? Well, here at Pine Orchards, management say, based on the current forecast for the week, it looks like most of these boats will have to stay right where they are. The forecast calls for several days of gusty winds pushing towards the shoreline. Getting all these boats out, there's 105 boats, it is going to be tough to get them all out, depending on the window and how fast the storm comes. A few brave boaters took to the choppy seas anyway and sailed into the nearby river. Back at Bruce and Johnson's, some boats are already up, others tightly secured and ready to ride it out. And this is just the beginning. We'll definitely get more calls and we'll play them as they come. You know, we'll evaluate the weather once again, the sea conditions, and make a decision whether we go or not. In Brantford, Jackie Slater, News 8.